Back in early 2015, I fell in love with the chateau I found online. I then had to convince my other half to give up our London life and move to rural France. To my surprise, she said yes, and a year later said yes again at our wedding at the chateau we now called our home. It's just us two and our husky lightning. And now, of course, a few animals who seem to have joined us along the way. It's such a beautiful place to live, so we decided to share it with everyone. It's obviously a lot of hard work for just us two. It's not always a fairy tale, and we don't always get it right. But it's all fantastic fun along the way, as we bring this chateau back to life for others to enjoy as much as we do. Follow us, Angelina and Phil, along with the highs and lows of our Chateau life. I've been levelling everything up and making sure everything is secured to the wall so it's going to go nowhere. Now is the moment of truth. Time to get the acro prop out, see if it all stays level, and see if it all stays standing. Level. Right, start. Now time to carry on. Have a moat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. until you drop your piece of wood in the water. Yay. Try that again. Good God. God, I'm gonna be in here for the rest of my life. How do I get out? I'm stuck. All right, test of the frame. Let's try again. Right, wood rescued. I don't like getting in the moat. Now, let's try again, shall we? What I'm doing is putting, I think they're called chevrons, uprights, whatever they're called, in, ready for the battening, and then we're at tile stage. So uh, let's get to it. All right, one step down, battening time. Do you like it? Can you lot just wait till I finished? You're not allowed to move in yet. Okie dokie, battening is all on one side and get the other side done and then it's time for some tiles. Eagle eye viewers will out there see there is a, it's not all perfectly straight and believe it or not, I've done that deliberately. Tiles will still be on there, they'll still be watertight, but giving it a little bit of imperfection makes it look like it is an original, not rebuilt. So it is deliberate. Here we go. I have done a, quite a bit off camera because it's just tedious. And this is how far we've got. Now, B 
bit more about how this has all happened. The bottom layer, we have ones underneath which are nailed and then the first row we nail on all the way along. And then after that, we overlap with the tile hangers. And now, it's just about cracking on. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're cracking on and it's fairly repetitive and boring, but we're just going to show you how this is done. And I am very sorry to anyone that's a real roofer for everything that I'm doing to your profession. <laughs> However, uh, we're using these hangers, okay? And these are real simple. They clip over the joist and then your tile slides down and then gets gripped by that one, little gap there, and then we carry on with another one there, so there we go, and then we just carry on with another tile of the right size. But they all seem to be different sizes They're is the problem. They're all different sizes, so huh. that one slides in there. That means they're handmade. <laughs> and then that one slides in there. And then we carry on. Wonderful. Okay, so, right, let's get cracking again. I think it's all been a bit too much, my glamorous assistant. Here is one side done. Don't know how well you can see that. The, uh, the task was to make it look like it hadn't been rebuilt and uh, hopefully that's what we're managing to do. So here is one side thankfully. I'm just going to show you a little bit closer. So we use the old tiles, we're going to give it a quick jet wash afterwards but I think the plan of trying to make it look like it hasn't been touched and it's always been here in this condition is, uh, is working. Let's have a look from the inside. And here you can see just how those hangers work. They just pop over the battening, clip on, and uh, they hold the tiles snugly at the bottom. And of course, when the next one goes on, it holds it down at the top. So great little way of doing it and much easier than having to nail everything. Now, of course, imagine to put the battening on for the other side. My glamorous assistant has woken up and is now doing stuff. Okay. So the battening's going on. I've probably got as far through getting the battening from the inside as I can. So soon to be dealing with the roof from the, uh, from the outside, which is a difficult bit. So uh, let's see if I fall in. Well, it was inevitable that something was going to drop down into the moat with film working in such a location. But the good news is that I'll be able to use my magnet fishing to fish it out. So this little cute tool comes in handy and it's a bit of fun as well. So I'm going to go and get that. It's, um, what is it? Nail remover that he dropped. Okay, Phil, so I'm ready, but where did you drop it? Like... There, here, there, where? There. Down here? Yeah. In front of me, yeah? Yeah. Alright. How far do you think? I don't know. I 
I mean, I can't. It's got a red handle, hasn't it? Yeah. I remember. Do you think it's here or? It's somewhere around there. It just. I saw it briefly, but by the time I got out to get my hand in there, it sunk to the murky depths. Murky depths of the never ending. Oh. I wonder what else I could find here. Treasure. That would be nice. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to get on with this. You go and have a break, and um, I'll just try and see what I come up with. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Right. I'm going to show you everyday chateau problems, which is why our pace of work can sometimes get slowed quite quickly. Massive tree in the way. So I can't get the car in here. Why do I need to get the car in here? You may ask. That's why I've got to clear enough space to get the car in. I need to be able to tow it out of the ditch. The ducks have made that was hidden in the grass. This is literally is a first world problem, chateau problem. I don't know. The joys. Yeah, some numpty did this, that numpty being me. Right, enough way has been cleared. Let's go and rescue the mower. There, I found it. Now don't lose it again. And it was all the way there by this straw bale thing, you know, the neck. So don't lose it. I'll put it inside the cherry picker for you. Thanks. Great useful tool, isn't it? Mm. And it's fun as well. I'm going to continue searching for treasure, maybe. Okay. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Yeah. After a few minutes of a magnet fishing, this is a load of um, those tile hooks that I found. And they're all quite rusty. So no wonder like half of the roof just sort of fell in. But at least I'm getting the rubbish out of the mouth, which is quite nice. But yeah, it's a surprising amount. That's a lot. So it does come in handy. Get in there, eh? I am almost finished. Just putting the last batten on the top so we can put the final ridge together. <gasps> You love my mini compressor. I do. We're almost there. Can you hand me four or five, I can and take this off me. Okay. Last few pieces are being put on, otherwise the rest of the duck house roof has been complete. Proud moment there, Billy. <laughs> They're not there yet. Here's the last tile. Thanks, darling. What a wonderful moment. Woo! Yay! Alright, let me get off this before I break it. And here it is. I'm really happy with the result. I know there's a lot more work to do. I'm not finished and I'll be a little bit more finishing off next week but I'm glad I can sit here and look at something that's standing again and looking pretty. Now I'm a happy man and hopefully 
you enjoy the finished product. We were at a barbecue at a friend's house, but all I can look at is his very recently done roof. I'm a bit jealous though. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that's how I'm gonna deal with the edges of the duck house. Obviously not this week. Let's crack on with the barbecue. After going to Sean's last night and then seeing his brand new roof, I was reminded that we have the same sort of fascias on the new roof of the chapel. So you can see the tile fascias. In the UK, we would use wood or plastic fascia boards there and then seal it up. France often uses tiles and I'm not sure which I prefer. What do you think you prefer, hun? I prefer the tiles. I think it's neater and uh, to me it's a bit more weather protective. Okay, tiles it is. I have tiles, so done. Excellent. Thought I'd just show you a little view out of one of the skylights off the roof. Just so I uh, came up to have a look at the roof. As you can see, the roof on the chateau has been redone. Very helpful. Same as the chapel, but we can see here how the ridge is done. It's done two ways in France. So same as in England, where you get a ridge tile, such as the chateau, or you can just butt it up together, which I just don't know what to do about the ridge at the moment on the Swan House. Anyway, just a nice view. You can see here. These are the these are tiles that are being put on by a real roofer, not me. But here's the ridge tiles which I'm going to look at, I think. Here's some nicely done tiling, but using the same methods. Here's another view of the mansard roof and where tiles butt up against each other for uh, without any ridge tiles. This is done quite off. This is done quite often on the ridge of roofs as well in France which might be the way I have to go. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Guess what? It's standing, it's got a roof and I'm really, really happy it's there. I feel quite proud. Uh, again, sorry roofers uh, for destroying your profession. Um, there's a reason why you get paid well. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's obviously not 100% finished. We have got a few last bits to do. I still have to jet wash the whole lot, tiles included, and of course then it can give the whole frame a coat of stain, just tidy up my very messy work area because there's broken tiles, all the rest of it everywhere. And then of course, as I've just done in the end of the video for you guys so we get a better idea, I've got to finish off the ridge and the fascias. I think I'm gonna go with the tiles. Do tell me if you think I'm wrong, but I think the tile fascias is perfect. I'd love to find yeah, a like cheap, that. you like that? Yeah, I like yeah. that. Very nice. I think I'm going to have to find a cheap way of doing the ridge, the ridge tiles. Uh, I've been thinking about it since I filmed a little clip showing you uh, tiles being busted up against it on the mansard roof of the chateau. Lots of places, old barns in France, are like that on the ridge tiles. When we get the storms coming rolling in, I just feel water's going to get behind. But we'll see. I'm going to have to do a bit of research for that. But uh, yeah, you know. There I'm must, there and I'm happy. There must be a reason why France has been doing it and it's quite interesting concept. So we'll do a little research, which is quite fun. But also, we forgot, we need to pull out the rest of the trees out of the moat, the heavy uh, ones. I've, I've, <laughs> I've got used to looking at them now, so it's, that's why I haven't Part of the feature. <laughs> um, once the area is cleaned up and then we need to get everything out, cleaned up, that section, I'm not trampling everything, so we can start laying our wild flower seeds there yeah. and make it the pretty area that was that is the intention. Uh, we've got some storms coming in after a couple of weeks of great weather. Don't know where you guys are, but we've had some great weather here for two weeks. So we need to get some stuff laid soon, uh, otherwise they won't have enough water to grow. So um, yeah. let's get that done, yeah? Yeah. If you like any of the fun tools that we use and are interested in any of them, I will put the um, description um, and the link. So check that out. 
I highly recommend the little compressor, which I steal from Angelina all the time. All and, the time. And nail guns. Uh, it would take me twice as much time, or if not three times as much time, without a nail gun on some jobs. So do recommend that. Yeah, um, do be careful because my uh, air gun is for upholstery and his one is obviously for nails and for, you know, heavy duty work. So don't get the two confused. <laughs> okay, um, guys, uh, part of, your, your support is fantastic. I want a big shout out to all of our patrons. Thank you so much for <laughs> your support. It really helps. We spend huge amounts of time doing these videos on top of what is massive maintenance in a place like this with just two people and every little bit helps for our support. Thank you so much to our patrons. And if you want to become one of our patrons, if you don't know what it's about and the rest of it, it's a little bit of help and support, please do go and uh, check out the Patreon page. The link is in our description as always. Take a look, there's all sorts of things which are behind the scenes on offer to our patrons. So uh, please take a look. And as always, um, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so you get all the notifications and um, help our channel grow by sharing this video. And otherwise, we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.